they first see us, why are we seeing all these freaks of nature in one place? Been taking care of this movement that started out from a seed. Now our music's getting streams from all overseas. But now it's like, holy crap, that's our squad family. Shaw, dude. When I first came out here and I was just sitting in the studio writing, doing my thing, and somebody comes in and they're like, yo, so there's this kid back there with no arms and no legs. I'm like, that, that doesn't sound real. And then it was like, but check this, his homie is with him and he's black, but he's white. He's a black albino. I was like, they're just messing with me. They gotta be. Making waves in the industry, the Odd Squad family are hoping their brand of hip hop will change the world. My name is Nubs of the Odd Squad family. Nubs is joined by other group members, Snowman and A Factor. Work my weaknesses out, it's time to work on my health. So when the peace can begin, it's time to work on myself. Let's go. Nubs is an acronym that I created after acquiring the nickname, <clears throat> um, obviously Nubs, but I made the acronym Nubs to me normally underestimated by sight. Through their music, the group wants to prove that no one should be judged on their outward appearance. You know what they say about the master and the student, that's why I never give up, relentless pushing through it. Anytime I fail, I learn my lesson, get back to it, and I only hang with people whose intentions are the truest. I'm only concerned about being better than me. I know I got some work to do, cause there ain't no plan B. Most frequently asked question that we get is what's wrong with the black guy, but there's nothing wrong with any of us. And that's kind of the whole point of Odd Squad Family. Like, okay, I may look quote unquote nor normal, right? But everybody's odd in their own way. Like every single person in this world is unique and different and that makes us odd. Since starting out, their fame has grown and Odd Squad's music is now reaching far and wide with gigs across the US and their music racking up fans online. Let them be great. I got too much on my plate to give negativity the time of my day. You're not promised another one, so to me it's a waste. When they first see us, you know, it's like, why are we seeing all these freaks of nature in one place? But now it's like, holy crap, that's our squad family. Your nubs, it's, it's dope. The music has changed people's opinions of us drastically. This is our, uh, this is the lab. This is the studio control room. Um, this is where we, you know, sit, write, listen to music, listen to beats, come up with songs, record songs. It's the music factory. It's where, it's where creativity flows. This is where the magic happens. Literally. I wasn't trying to say that. This is where it goes down. I hope with my music I can create a better place in this world. I can be a voice for people that feel like me, look like me, um, you know, that feel like their life is limited and has a ceiling because of their differences when it doesn't. Like I want to change the world, as corny as that sounds, man, for real. I want to change this world for the better. Growing up, Nubs was never formally diagnosed or told why he was born without all his limbs. The name of my condition is actually, um, it's just Latin. It's Latin words that translate to no arms, no legs. They didn't know what it was. It's very rare, I guess. At birth, Everything was normal. Um, I came out and was a shocker. The doctors, they tested me and they're like, yeah, he's fine, he just doesn't have arms or legs. He's good. <laughs> to grow up with no arms and no legs is just in a world of people with arms and legs. It's exciting, terrifying, and questionable all at the same time. I've questioned why me for so long. I think that Growing up like this has just made me think about everything differently to the point where it's like, I could be a glass half empty, but I choose the glass half full because there's no change in this. Despite growing up with a disability, Nubs leads a normal life with the help of his partner and family. Aren't she 
Excuse me. Excuse me. My family is very important to me because they're my support system, my base. And they believe in me. They, they see what I'm doing every day. I work hard for it. And uh, without my family, I would not be here. That was from the tent, right? No? Yes. We just had our six year anniversary and we met through a mutual friend and then connected later on in life when I was like 17. Um, through like parties, we found each other, saw each other at parties and stuff. She's my arms. She has to reach for me most of the time. I guess that is one obstacle. <laughs> He's really short. <laughs> It's not like most relationships. She's she's got a lot of, a lot on a lot on the table for me. She does a lot of stuff for me, like more than you know other girlfriends probably do for others. That's yours, right? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what to do with them. I do have special needs. Like I can't reach stuff. <laughs> I can't reach stuff, man. I'm so short. Got it? Let go. Yo! <laughs> Man down! Let's go. It's important I'm a good father and I teach my children everything I can. Overall, man, I just want them to know that they can do anything, anything they want. Put them on, I'll race you to the bottom. <laughs> Raising his children with an open mind is important for Nubs because growing up, he often became the target of bullies. Ready, go. Set, go. When people stop and stare at me, I think, what are you thinking about? <laughs> do you know me because my music? And when I was younger, it was, it was really different because uh, when I see people staring at me, I'm like, I know why you're staring at me. What were some of the things people would say to you? Chicken stubs, half a man, half a person, nipple hands. It's tough. You take it day by day, you know what I mean? That's all you really can do. I want my children to grow up in a world where they don't see discrimination and don't see judgments from others being the way of life like I did. My advice to people who feel odd or different would be to own it. Figure out what makes you different. You're unique, same as everybody else, and you really need to just understand that it's a gift. It's truly a blessing to be different than everybody else. Own it, own it, it, it love it, love yourself.